Who's a little like water and oil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. What's in the kettle and ready to boil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Granny <laughs> Rabbit, one can't put food. Fell from a plane with no parachute. Got stuck in the jungle putting down roots. Brandy and Mr. Whisker. Side by side, different as day or night. <laughs> but it's quite a ride, sharing a life with the trees. <laughs> in the vertices of variables A, C, and X, Y, Z. Well, now, Mr. Whiskers, I don't pretend to understand all that fancy number calculating, but I must say, that is a lovely drawing of you. Why, thank you, Ed. I think I captured my proud jawline. And I... I'm sorry, Brandy, but Ed and I are on a top-secret mission. It needs to know kind of stuff. Hush, hush on the down low, if you know what I mean. Whatever. And that means that, unfortunately, we can't give you even the merest hints of what we're doing for fear it may jeopardize the entire program. Good for you, Whiskers. Don't you want to know what we're doing? Not really. Not even a little? Nope. A smidge? Nuh-uh. Well, why not? Because I've got a mission of my own. Okay, I've been in the jungle a while now, and you know what is sorely missing? Fashion! <laughs> Fashion? Absolutely, Margo. It's just what this jungle needs. Check this. See how these cargo pants complement this baby teeth? Uh, no. Not at all. Okay, but what if I throw in this handbag and these shoes? Fashion plate du jour, right? Girl, we have no idea what you are talking about. I have looked at it from every angle, and I gotta tell you, this plan is foolproof. Yes, sir, it sure is. And I'm just tickled pink to be part of such a momentous undertaking. Next stop, the moon. Make it happen, sea captain! <laughs> Sorry, Brandy, but I just don't think the jungle needs your time. Shall we? Whiskers? That's one small step for Rabbit. What is he wearing? Who? That is to die for. What is? I gotta give me some of that. Mm-hmm. Some of what? Wait, you guys don't get fashion. Uh, wrong, Brandy. We get fashion. We don't get your fashion. But Whiskers, he's got it going on. Ugh, yeah, right. As if anyone would ever be seen wearing that. <laughs> Fashion gods just puked. Uh, Brandy, am I a trendsetter? No! Absolutely not. No way. This is just a fluke, Whiskers. A terrible, terrible fluke. Yo, Whiskers, do these flowers accentuate my beak? Forget her beak. What about my tail feather? Well, Whiskers, I... can you suggest a handbag to go with this? The thing is... How about some shoes? Now that's it. Hey, you don't have any feet. You biped mammals with your appendages. I'm so full of yourselves. Hm. Girls, Mr. Whiskers will answer all your questions right after I tell him exactly what to say. Okay, look, tell him these shoes are a must. Don't be caught without denim. And this purse rocks, but not before Labor Day. Got it? Um, okay, I guess. Uh, just one question. Uh, why am I telling everybody what to wear? Because that's the way the fashion world works. You tell them what's cool and they listen. And if they don't, they get socially flushed. <laughs> hey, Brandy, that sounds... And the added bonus? I already have all this stuff, so I'll be getting my chic on in no time. Now go make fashion history! Keep your eyes! Whiskers, are those the new fall fashions? Why, yes. Yes, they are! Would you like to try them? Would I? Oh, 
made it. Keep it! Lose it! Oh my gosh, somebody call the fashion police. Stripes, are you kidding me? But, 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 but I'm, a, I'm a ringtail Cody. Honey, lose the stripes or lose the tail. Oh, Wait, okay. you like you guys do? Chaffing because the fashion baton is passed on. I have created a monster. <laughs> Switch the divan with the armoire. Hmm, nah, hate it. Put it back. Whiskers, what are you doing? Lifting our home out of the squalor, Brandy. After all, I am the king of all things fashion. By the by, could you kindly remove that stuff from the premises? Your fung is getting in the way of my shoes. Whiskers, these are my best clothes and my shoes and my hair accessories. Oh, you're a very brave girl for admitting that, Brandy. That is the first step to recovery. There's nothing wrong with these clothes, Whiskers. Well, there's certainly nothing right about them. Do yourself a favor and come to my show tonight. Then you will see what is hot and what is not. So he was totally going crazy. He kept saying, is she a vine or a snake? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing those stupid beehives on your heads? Don't you know? Ow! It's Whiskers' latest. Ow! No, Ow! the Cayman Jaws are. Are you rabid? You're wearing something that bites and stings you just because Whiskers said so? Well, Ow! yeah. But weren't you telling us, ow, what to wear to? Ow! Well, kind of, I guess. I'll tell you what, ow, hypocrite. Until you get yourself a hive, we don't want to be seen with you. Ow! Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Maybe Whiskers is a fashion genius. If you can't beat him, join him. Oh, I don't know. I guess ow, it isn't too bad. Ow. 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 Hey, Mr. Slot. So, ow. notice anything ow. new? Ow. The beehive. Don't ow. you like it? Ow. Well, I gotta wear it because, ow. you know, ow. I don't want to get ow. socially flushed. Ow. Ow. I noticed you're not wearing a beehive either. No fear of the flush? Come on, Mr. Sloth, I need your help. Just a splash more color, darling. Oh, and one more thing. There, off you go. Next time, if you're going to be late, don't bother coming at all. Bring some common sense back to the jungle. I can't believe you're the person to do it, but there it is. But first, we need a distraction. <gasps> Bingo! Yeah! What's going on here? Mr. Whiskers is in desperate need of another fashion model, and he's hoping you will help. Really? He w w wants me, me? Oh, yeah. Now get out there and work it! What are you doing here? I, I came to help with your f f f f f f fashion show. The only way a fashion faux pas like yourself could ever possibly help a genius like moi is by leaving my stage immediately! Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. And did I tell you to lose the stripes or lose the tail? <laughs> the tail comes off now! Hey, hey, what? Fashion. He's not like, ow, wearing a beehive. The latest fashion is no fashion at all. Wear comfortable clothes or no clothes. Just be yourself. He ow. sure looks comfortable without a beehive on his head. Or a caiman on his butt. Ow! Oh, much better. That is such a relief. 
Wait, 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 wait! I have a solution. Huh? Not bad, not bad at all. Now get off my stage! Yes, yes! What are you standing there for? You're on, you're on! Okay, whiskers, you genius, you! Give him a few moments to ooh and ah, uh, and then take the stage to thunderous applause! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Where are my adoring fans? They've gone, Whiskers. Back to the way they were before all this fashion madness. What a relief. <sighs> the pressure was really starting to get to me. Well, not everyone can be a fashion diva. Uh, I'll say. Those shoes do not work with that top, sister. Whiskers? Sorry, but facts are facts. By the way, capris are in, but culottes are cool nuts. Now, let's talk accessories. to jump rope with my very own ears. And my name is Uncle Billy, and I love to eat spaghetti. Okay, that's not selling it. How's about we explore the fascinating world of my belly button? <laughs> Brandy, cheer up, it's a beautiful day! Oh, the oh, birds oh, are singing, oh. the frogs are frogging, the monkeys are ow, throwing things at me again! Beat it, you pesky primates! Why are you so sad anyway? <sighs> My birthday is tomorrow. Oh! What's a birthday? A birthday! You know, comes once a year, cake, candles, lots of presents! Happy songs? Uh-huh. Big fat guy in a red suit? That's Christmas. Oh no! Christmas is coming! Oh, and I haven't made a list yet! Wonder what I should ask Santa for. I know this is hard for you, Whiskers, but try and stay with me. A birthday, specifically my birthday, is the annual celebration of my birth. Oh, so that's the reason you're sad. Another whole year older, and one year closer to the big dirt nap. Okay, that whole getting older thing wasn't bothering me until just now. I'm sad, Whiskers, because this is my first birthday without my family. Whiskers, where's the picture of my family? Ugh, whatever. We used to have the best parties. We'd have cake and presents and play pin the tail on the cat. I got an idea! We could have a party for you. Nah, don't want to be a bother. No, really. It's too much work. It'll be fun. Oh, fine. What's this? Plans for my party. Guest list, menu selections, entertainment, and some gift suggestions. The numbers beside the item, that means I want to. Oh, and the most important thing, it should be a surprise. And Brandy says it's a surprise. But Mr. Whiskers, she knows. I know she knows. Don't get technical. Just pass it on, okay? All righty. You're the boss. Thank you. Shh. Yeah, Somebody is throwing Brandy a birthday party? How thoughtful! Oh, and it's a surprise! Hey, wait a minute, I don't want throwing the party! You're just throwing things again! Ow! Hey! Okay, now that word has gotten around about Freddy's supremely cool birthday party, I must warn you we can only have 300 guests. First come, first serve. So get those RSVPs in ASAP. That's right. RSVP, ASAP. They'll be clowns. Okay, which one do you like? <gasps> A surprise party for me? Or... I don't know what to say. Personally, I'd go with the crying, because I have some bad news. If it's about the souffle, I can live with Meringue. Well, it turns out nobody wants to come. They don't want to come to a party? Oh, they'd love to go to a party. 
Just that one for you. Well, why not? Well, let's see, shall we? Uh, uh, 50% said... You're not nice. 75% said... What has she ever done for me? And 48% think if Brussels sprouts had a chocolate liquid center, they'd eat them. Everybody thinks I'm mean? There's some good news. Yeah? Nearly 80% would come. Yes, yes? If it were your funeral. What do those stupid lice magnets know about how nice a person I am anyway? Hi, I'm Brandy. And I'm here to talk about a very serious subject, being mean. Although I sometimes play a mean person in the show, I am not, and I certainly do not condone such behavior. You call that a close-up, you dumb, throwing marsupial? All right, okay. I'll just have to show them how kind and thoughtful I really am. <laughs> I, um, uh, you were serious? Zip it, Fuzzy. I need to think of something that will demonstrate my niceness. Look, Brandy, wouldn't it just be easier to forget about the birthday party? I mean, I've never even had a birthday. Whiskers, everyone has a birthday. Not me. You were born, weren't you? Was I? Are you sure? Of course you were. You're here, aren't you? True. But what is existence anyway? I mean, could I be here and not actually exist? And if I do exist, where do I come from? <gasps> Wait, you don't know when your birthday is, right? I'm still not convinced I have one. So it could be like tomorrow, right? All right. And I'm guessing you've never had a birthday party, huh? Not unless you count the time I was mistaken for a piñata. <laughs> It's perfect! I'll throw you a birthday party. That way I get the party I wanted in the first place and everyone will think I'm super nice! Gosh, I can't tell you how moved and or confused I am. Hey, Lola. Want to help me throw a surprise birthday party for Whiskers? Since when do you give a top ears honey about him? You know, I don't know who started all of this, but hello! I am a caring, decent, thoughtful person. <laughs> Mm, scoff if you want, but you'll see when I throw Whiskers the best birthday party this jungle has ever seen. I just think it is so sweet what you're doing for Whiskers. No big deal. Just a simple gesture for someone I love. You know, it's as easy to be nice as not. That's a donkey, not a rabbit! Get out of my sight, you hack! I just think it's basic nature. Everyone wants to be appreciated. You must be joking. This papaya is so hard, it can cut through diamonds! And believe me, I should know. My philosophy? Niceness is contagious. Spread a little and soon we all have it. Ah! Um, are you like the biggest loser on Earth? No! <laughs> okay, what's the master at work? A poodle! Give me a break. Okay, is it possible to work even slower? You know, I haven't really given that much thought, but I reckon it just might be possible. I was totally being sarcastic. Oh, well, it shames me to admit it, Miss Brandy, but I don't traffic in sarcasm too much, so I don't really tend to recognize it when it is out there. If you could give me a heads up, like, hey, sarcastic comment coming, just let me know and then I'll, I'll have my eyes open. I mean, come on, a sarcastic otter? That, that would be unnatural. I am trying to do something nice for someone and this is how I get treated? Little problem. If it's the dolphins again, the manatees are waiting to take their spot. <sighs> it's you. What do you mean? You know how 53% of respondents didn't like you? Uh-huh. It's now up to 80%, baby. Okay, that's it. This being nice thing is so not worth the effort. I'm gonna get whiskers, and when I get back, I expect this party to be ready. She's right. It's not worth it. Let's bail. Oh no, am I naked again? No pellets for brains. We're going to the watering hole, so put on something nice. Oh, I just want to stay home and smell my feet. <sighs> what a whiff. Gag, no. Everyone's waiting, and I went to a lot of trouble to show how nice I am. Trouble doing what? Your surprise party, remember? Don't want to nitpick, but it's not much of a surprise now, is it? Get dressed, or I'm tossing you in the nearest volcano. I I can't believe how nice you are. Okay, remember to act surprised. How's this? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Here it is. Ready? Surprise! Wow. 
Wow, this is a surprise. I was kind of expecting a little more to happen, quite frankly. Uh, there's nobody here. You know, if this is what a birthday party's like, I really cannot see what you were missing. <laughs> Why are you crying? No one's here because of me. They all left because they think I'm mean. No, you're not mean. You threw me a party. How mean could that be? I threw the party for me. I just used your birthday as an excuse. The truth is, I'm a spoiled, materialistic, narcissistic. You can stop me at any time, you know. I'm waiting for self-obsessed. Self-obsessed brat. Hey, Brandy, you are nice. They just don't know all the things you do, like how you help the poor and, and give blood every month and rush to the aid of typhoon victims. I don't do any of that. Really? Guess they're right then, huh? Anyway, here, I made you a gift. A gift? Well, for what? Your birthday, remember? I know it's not as nice as the presents you got from your family, but... Oh, Whiskers, it's beautiful. You know, you also gave me another gift today. I did? You showed me that being nice has its own rewards. That doing something for someone else can make you feel good. Excuse me just for one moment, won't you? A <laughs> little too much, huh? Happy birthday, Whiskers. Happy birthday, Brandy. Happy birthday! What? What? <laughs> Surprised? <laughs> yeah, what happened? Well, for some reason, 75% believe that syrupy dribble you just said. And besides, 100% of us in the jungle like to party! And my name is Uncle Billy, and I love to eat spaghetti! My, my name is Uncle Billy, and I love to eat spaghetti!